I just wanted to make a real quick video on how I ferment chicken feed. This is my fermentation cabinet and in here I keep my fermented vegetables which I make on a weekly basis. It, it also gives me uh, some starter culture for the chicken feed and that is what I'm going to be using. Okay so I'll be starting out with two buckets. This first bucket is already going to be filled with liquid and um, this second bucket uh, ideally what you want to have is a bucket that slides in and out easily and somehow I was able to find these green buckets and they're slightly smaller than the other bucket they're both five gallon buckets and so what I did was I drilled a bunch of holes so the liquid could come up through the uh, the bottom but the feed stays in this bucket so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, jar of fermented vegetables that I showed you that I had in the cabinet and uh, basically you can use just cabbage and vegetables along with uh, celery juice and sea salt to ferment the vegetable itself but I also use a starter culture uh, which uh, offers additional strains of uh, bacteria which pull out more of the, the vitamins in the vegetables themselves and so what I'll do is I'm going to strain this and I'm going to pour some of that juice in there and then I might even dump in a teaspoon of the, uh, the, the cabbage or sauerkraut, whatever you want to call it, itself in there. And as you can see what happens is um, the water itself starts to take on a uh, kind of a pinkish, purplish uh, hue. That's because I use purple cabbage and I also use beets in my original recipe. And so then what I do is I'm going to stick this bucket inside of here. There'll be a little bit of liquid on the bottom there. Can't see it right now, but I'll show it to you. And then what I'll do is I'll pour in additional water. Now this water is from a, a filtration system, a five-stage reverse osmosis system. It removes all the chlorine. So you have to have water that's either distilled, filtered, or you can let water sit out for 24 hours and most of the chlorine should be gone. Uh, the chlorine will actually kill the bacteria which is not not something you want to happen. You want that uh, bacteria to ferment the, uh, ferment the feed. So I'm going to pour that in there and then what I'm going to do is pour in a uh, I use a pellet feed. It's organic and it's also soy free. And I get this from a local feed shop, uh, Belmont Feed and Seed not too far from me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this container, which I would guess would be approximately about a half a gallon or so. And then I'm going to pour that in here. Okay. There's just enough liquid to keep it covered. Put some aside. And, and after a day or so, I'll need to add more liquid because that that initial uh, uh, feed will soak up uh, all the water that's already in there and then uh, what I'll do is I'll keep that covered. Okay now this is what the feed would look like after a few days. It has a consistency of um, oatmeal and uh, if you were to taste this it would have a slightly tart taste to it which is uh, what you're looking for. Same as with uh, fermented vegetables or if you were to ferment a fruit. You want it to be slightly tart. And so that tells me that um, the ferment is, um, is uh, not only ready but it's uh, safe because um, I can tell from that tart taste. It's not, it doesn't have an off taste to it. Okay and what I use is I use uh, drywall pans. And normally what I do is uh, uh, we have access to plenty of uh, food scraps, so I'll place some food scraps inside the uh, dry, uh, drywall pans themselves at the bottom. And then I'll ladle in some of this uh, fermented feed. Uh, usually I'll do it straight out of the bucket, but uh, I'm using this pot so that you can see what I'm doing here. And I'll mix that all in there. And by the way, if you don't make fermented vegetables, you could probably use a uh, uh, starter culture from whey. Uh, which is uh, the liquid from cheese or you could buy sauerkraut that's fermented from your uh, grocery store and uh, 
you could do the same thing. But uh, if you can ferment your own vegetables, ideally that's actually that's going to benefit you and uh, it's going to benefit the chickens. And so what's nice about fermented vegetables is that uh, it's pre-digested and uh, it gives the body the ability to use those vitamins that are uh, in the vegetables themselves a lot easier. It's more bioavailable. So the same thing is going to apply to your chickens. So then what I'll do is just I'll just mix that all up like so. And then I have uh, some holders I built that I'll just uh, kind of stick in there so that um, the hens don't uh, stand in it. And uh, I'll usually feed, I usually feed them twice a day. And uh, that's it on there. Okay. Okay. And what I'll do is uh, I'll bring it in here and I'll put them in these holders here. And uh, usually in the morning they uh, they're all uh, you know really anxious to get at it. And so uh, I'll just slide them in there like that. Oh, in there. And uh, they really seem to enjoy it. I put a little corn up on top there for them. A little cracked corn. Uh, go on, come on. Down here. And uh, they really seem to enjoy it. So uh, thank you uh, for watching my video.